Okay, so a while back when Tokyo Revengers was still airing, I gave it a shot and for some reason I ended up dropping it. Hold up, don't dislike the video yet, hear me out. I don't know what it was about my first watch through, maybe since it was coming out weekly at the time, so it was really irritating waiting a week for a single episode. So I decided to drop the show because it had a rather slow start to me, and I wasn't 100% invested. I don't exactly remember how deep I got into it. I think it was when Mikey and Draken showed up, and the thing is, I loved Mikey and Draken's characters, especially Draken. I, I loved Draken. But for some reason, I wasn't satisfied with the week-to-week -week wait. This is a show that I feel like needs to be binged. I think if you haven't watched Tokyo Revengers and you never watched it during the time it was airing, I think now is the best time to get into it because it is completed, or the season 1 is at least. That was something holding me back. So yesterday I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot again. And this time I got to the same part where I got to last time and a little bit ahead I feel like. And I was much more invested. When I first watched the show, I remember telling my friend the pacing in this show was rather slow and it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't pick up too well. And since it was a week to week show, it had a lot of cliffhangers which just left a bad taste in my mouth. But binging this show, man, like, I, I realized I really love Tokyo Revengers. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the Tokyo Manji Gang. I don't know if it's Mikey. I don't know if it's Draken. I don't know if it's Takamichi himself. I love the show, man. I really love the show. And I see artwork of the show all the time on Twitter. Like, I love the artwork of certain characters. Like, there's certain characters I know what they look like, and I have no idea what their names are. For example, Hanemiya. I have no idea who Hanemiya is and he's in my thumbnail because he looks so cool. Like this, one thing this anime or manga does really well is character designs. And I think the manga actually excels even further than the anime. The difference in artistic style between the anime and manga, like where the in, in the manga, if you go and read it, the characters look a lot more slim. And I don't know why I love that aesthetic. Like I see these characters constantly on Twitter and I'm like, yeah, that character looks cool. That character has a sick design. Another reason I really enjoy this manga is the camaraderie found within it, okay? Now, it is about gangs. Yep, it is. However, there is something about the camaraderie that these characters have with each other in this gang that I'm drawn towards, okay? For example, I love series like One Piece, where these straw hats are all connected and each of these straw hats have their own connections with each of the other straw hats. Or for example, I love the Golden Age arc because, you know, Guts found a home. A home within the Band of Hawk. And in this manga, camaraderie is huge. Now, there are many important things when it comes to writing a story. However, the thing that Tokyo Revengers excels at is characters. It, like You could literally go through their entire backstories, and see how they got to where they are, see why they have this sort of camaraderie with the Tokyo Manji gang. And if there's any two things that, you know, will get me to stick around to a show or a manga, it's characters and plot. And this has both. And then I would probably put setting right under those three, okay? So this manga is phenomenal. And if you haven't watched Tokyo Revengers, if you never gave it a try when it was coming out airing, I think now is the perfect time, as I said in the beginning. You might even want to give the manga a shot, okay? I know the anime is good, which is what I'm currently watching. But right when I'm done the anime, I'm most likely going to pick up from the manga where the anime left off. Heck, I might even actually just drop the anime, which people are going to get mad at me again because this is the second time I'm probably going to drop it. But this time, instead of completely dropping the anime and not continuing, with Tokyo Revengers, I might just drop the anime where I'm at and pick up from the manga just because I don't want to, you know, have to deal with the transition of transitioning from anime to manga. I would rather just go into it smoothly. So I think it might be best for me to just drop it right now where it stands. So what is the point of this entire video? The point of this video is to admit that I was wrong. I was wrong for dropping this series. I was wrong for saying it's slow paced and I was wrong for saying that this is a series I probably wouldn't get invested in. Or even, even though I didn't say that, I kind of did, even though I didn't. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry for that. Um, this series is great. But hey, for more anime content, anime recommendations, anime news, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free. You know, you just click the red button, you turn on that post notification bell. And you know what? If you, if you subscribe right now, you might get a free Pokeball that you could capture anybody in. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Maybe. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.